Hello everyone, and welcome back to today's showcase on Dark Souls 3. So, gone through a majority of these weapons now. I think I'm up to 73. Yeah, 73. To think. Oh well, it doesn't really matter that much. But I wanted to do a different weapon. Well, a weapon we see actually quite frequently used against us, that is. And it's usually by large opponents, but it's a bit different for a couple of reasons. Aesthetically, that is. Well, today's weapon is the Flame Gorgile Hammer, or the Gargle Flame Hammer. Yes. Alright, so this weapon is used by the Giant Gorgile, that we fight so casually with the highest amount of armor in the game. Not the highest health, but armor anyway. The description of this weapon reads, A stone torch hammer wielded by Gorgals of the Profaned Capital. And they're more than just a profane capital, but whatever. The Profane Flame, which never goes out, imbues its weapon with a fire attack. Neat. Skill is the kindled fear. Fl <sighs> Skill is the kindled flurry. Not the. I was about to say fury. <laughs> kind of like my name better. Anyways, the anchor weapon in the earth and use a strong attack to launch successful volleys of fire from the tip of the hammer. Oh, that could be taken multiple ways. <laughs> what a lo load way to put that. <laughs> Oh, that's just, that's just raunchy. Anyway, this weapon visually, well, it's always on fire. This could, if it's made out of stone, it's not a problem. If it's made out of metal, there's issues with that, but whatever. So, systematically, it, if you ever use some PvP, people will see you long before <laughs> they attack you. <laughs> you are a sore thumb in a very dark space. A dark, soul-like space. <laughs> Moving on to the stats of the Fulp called Gorgal's Flame Hammer. Physical? Well, we got a lot of physical. Above average. This is a great hammer, but don't worry about the physical, because you already know see why. We got also flame damage added. You got 100 flame damage. So if you add all these bonuses together, you get a lot of damage out of this, to be honest. Alright, moving on from that, we got the Atrio bonus. We got a D for Strength and E for Faith. Weird. You get a E for faith and both. Oh, also got intelligence. I see a row in the bottom right corner. <laughs> so both intelligence and faith. E for both. All right. But the treatment requirement: you need 22 strength and nine faith and nine intelligence. Rather low number, to be honest. Like well, it's almost minuscule amount. And then moving on to the kindled flurry move. Cost 12 AP to cast and 15 full of follow up. The uh. Yeah, that follow-up. <laughs> I'd like to mention the weight of the weapon is 11.0. It isn't very heavy, to be honest. For a great hammer, this might be the one of the lightest great hammers. Of course, there's the clubs, but that's for another day. But yeah. So, strong attack. Odd player all attribute bonuses. And um, fire damage. And it's pretty light. Overall, seems pretty promising. And pretty good. Supposedly. Animations for this flame hammer. Well, you got the basic great hammer attack. The odd one where you spin around with one hand. Power attack. Well, you got pretty much the same move. It's just heavier. Two-handed basic attack. You can swing it back and forth. Much quicker than the one-handed variant. And two-handed. And again, all the same moves from the great hammer set. Nothing new here. However, we got the, well, the special. So you can see that's the basic cast there. But when you do a follow-up, boom, a flamethrower! Surprise, surprise! Hose him down with flames! And the sprint attack is a quick, heavy drop of the hammer. Moving on to upgrading this weapon, here's the most surprising part. This thing's upgraded Tate Knight shards. I was expecting Twinkling Tate Knight when I looked at this weapon. And we can see in the first level, you get the tribute bonuses across the whole board go up by one. So this is all quite surprising to be right off the bat. Very surprising. And you get quite a bit of damage going forward compared if you take into account both upgrades. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Excellent damage increase. <laughs> However, even though this weapon is increased with Tate Knight, it cannot be infused given its fire nature built in. Performance for this weapon, well, we got a real flamer here. 
Hose them down. It's alright, but it's DPS. It's more than one hit, the flamethrower. And it's not very quick. But it's okay. Uh, basic attack is 315. Okay, I'll try to backstab in someone else. Alright. Well, I guess these guys, it's plenty of damage. 415. Let's try, uh... Yeah, the basic move there doesn't do much. You gotta do both. The basic attack, just a single special, doesn't do anything. Now, I'm pretty sure I can get through the shield. It is a great hammer, after all. Maybe even the flamethrower can get... Maybe even the flamethrower can get through that. Yeah. Maybe. This guy feels like cooperating with me. He never does. Never. Okay, I'm pretty sure that was fatigue, because I doubt I got through in one hit. I doubt that. Yeah, if that's I figured. It takes two hits to get through. He's fatigued. Alright. Let's try this again so I can get the back attack in. Alright, 99 plus... Damn. Three. So there you go. 580 damage for a back attack. Awesome. Now I'm going through this again because I want to test it about the flamethrower a bit more. Because, to be honest, all the other enemies in the future are more resistant to this. So we saw I did pretty good against those small guys. We already tested against the big sword guy, but can I go through this shield? Let's test it. No. Not really. It does do good, decent damage going through the shield, but... Meh. Didn't really do very good damage, you know, with it up. Or, I mean, getting through it, I mean. However, let's fight the Gargoyle himself. The big guy who carries the bigger version of the hammer. That we'll never get for some reason. I don't know, maybe they are the same size. It's very close to the same size. He wants to throw in his fire. I want to do the same. There we go. Pretty decent damage. Hit him with the full blunt of the two. Now, I don't think I can get through his shield, though. No. His shield is gigantic. This weapon does take two hits. So let's try. Power attack. Nope. Did not get through. But oh well. Plenty of damage otherwise. Now against the Black Knight, they are resistant to fire, but let's see how well this works. Ugh, he guarded against that. I did almost nothing. Alright. I wonder if I can get another... Dog another get another flamethrower in. Let's try. Okay, I got it in that time, but still not very impressive damage. These guys are resistant to fire after all. Oh well, conventional warfare kills him just as fine. <laughs> Down just as easy. Moving on to the pros and cons by Gorgal's Flame Hammer. On the pro side, you got all that flame damage. That's awesome. Flame's always good. It's special. It's a flamethrower. Enough said. It's plenty of damage to be put out. And it can, I will put it as a pro. It can be reinforced with Tate Knight. It doesn't take Twinkling Tate Knight. Because I was expecting Twinkling Tate Knight from this weapon. On the con side, the flamethrower is a bit slow, and it's attacks over there, it's multiple attacks, so you don't really get them all in all the time. And it's slow to swing. And it cannot be infused with any gems, even though it can't be reinforced with Tate Knight. But anyway, those are the cons of this weapon. We don't have to score. Damage gets 8 out of 10. Plenty of damage with that flame added. Reach? 10 out of 10. Flamethrower goes well beyond the range of most melee weapons. Animation gets 4 to 10, though. It only has the one unique special animation, but the rest of the attacks are borrowed right from the Great Hammer set. Bonus? 7 out of 10. You know how the, the other bonuses are that strong? You get two of them. One physical, one for fire. So both combined are pretty damn good. Misk, though, is the one I'm conflicted on. I give it a 5 out of 10. I'm not sure if that flame on the end is really a good thing or a bad thing. Good if you want to get around. Bad if you don't want people to see you. Yeah, I'm not too sure on that one myself. So I'll give it a 5, whatever. So in total, the Gorgos Flame Hammer gets 34 out of 50, which is pretty damn good, I do to say. Pretty good indeed. So the Gorgos Flame Hammer is a hit. That's a good one at that. The Flame Hammer goes out, who needs a torch anyway? Well, you might need it for the maggots to get on you, but otherwise you don't need it. <laughs> this works even better than a torch. Because it hits enemies. And hard. <laughs> My favorite weapon? Probably not. But still a great weapon nonetheless. But that's been today's showcase. I thank you for watching, and i see you guys next time. Take care out there.